Well, welcome everyone to the Manchester Westside Arena for today's game between the home Merrimack Tomahawks and the visiting Little Green Knights here. A combination of Manchester West and Manchester Central. My name is Kyle Heavey. Along with me today is Cam Tranchmontane. Cam, your first time here at the Westside Ice Arena. Oh yeah. Kind of an interesting setup here. We're obviously high above ice. Trying to uh, get ourselves situated here, but here's an opportunity here for the Little Green Knights. Oh, Just not able to keep it zone. Here comes the Tomahawks. Tomahawks coming into this game 1 and 0. A 7 0 win against the Grizzlies of Goffstown, while the Little Green Knights come into this game 0 2, having been defeated twice by the Crusaders of. Memorial, so. Uh, Big contact in the corner down there. Tough, that tough battle. angle right here for us. We can't really see everything that's going on in that angle, so we, uh, sorry for that. It's kind of a tough, tough area here, being a, a first time at this arena. It's weird that we're still in Manchester, yet this is Merrimack's home ice game. Right, yeah, that threw me off. <laughs> you, you were talking about it on my way over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, even though we're in Manchester, this is uh, Merrimack's town. And uh, Manchester Westside Arena was built a little differently than JFK. JFK obviously is the crown jewel of hockey rinks in Manchester. And well, we got, we're here, a breakaway. Tomahawks shoot in, a good save there. I was wondering when I get to say his name. I, it, David Hood obviously is the goalie here for the Little Green Knights. He uh, comes to this game being well renowned as a starting goaltender for this team, but you know, he obviously came up big there. Tom Hawks already can put up seven goals in one game, so this one's gonna be interesting to see. This should go as an icing, I believe. No, they're gonna wave it off, okay. Ryan Dunn was trying to find the man in the neutral zone, but just a little wide on the pass. Well, now a three and one opportunity for the Little Green Knights. If he's patient, he's not. He shoots it, and a save there by Ben Hardy. Keegan Hogue loses his bucket. Big hit. It's fun to be here, Cam. I'm not gonna lie. We've missed fans in Manchester. It's it's yeah. it's tough when we don't get to see the fans. So to actually have this many, Cam, if you want to back up for just a second, I mean, they're here. They're in attendance. It's uh, uh, JFK and obviously the the basketball teams do not allow fans. That's why Manchester Public Television has put a great effort into making sure that we broadcast as many games as we can. And we're glad to be here either way to, uh, to be able to show the Manchester community what hockey's all about here for the high school teams. Tomahawks on their way down. Good back and forth here for the first uh, three minutes of this yeah. game. It seems like Central's ironed out some of the kinks in their game that we had seen in the last few games and uh, playing a bit more disciplined and structured hockey. Cam, this is your third game. Oh, sorry, they're wrong. Either way, good shot there by number 12. Uh, Dylan Sadowski. Sadowski, yeah. excuse me. Oh, another big. This is a this is a fun, hard-fought game so far. Oh, a lot of big checks. Oh, oh, saved by Hood. Did not, not know where it was, and in up into the netting it goes. You can see it right there. It's it made its way into the net, and uh, well, no free souvenirs here at the Westside Ice Arena. That yeah. puck will get taken care of and be back out on the ice that in was no time. A, uh, big time save by David Hood. Didn't flinch at all. It was a great scoring chance. I'm not sure who shot it, but Hood denied it. And here we go with a, another opportunity. Oh, referee doesn't drop it. Taken by defenseman number five, Caleb Page, swings it around. Page now in the middle, trying oh. to block it. Oh. And there's a goal by the Tomahawks. David Hood. It was kind of deflected a little bit. A great opportunity there by Braden Gugliama. Yeah, and it was a nice nice shot. He definitely uh, was stopped. I think Hood was suspecting that to go further across the crease, but uh, well, Gugliama. 12-29 to go in the first period, and Tom Oxwake, a one nothing lead. Another opportunity here. Shot and a save by Hood. Great skating by Elliot Medlock for the Tomahawks. Able to turn himself around and get a good shot. Look at this coming down the other way. We got a Kelly. I believe that's, that's Aiden. Aiden. Yep. 
Eight and zero, and definitely the uh, shiny stars on the oh, team. Oh, another big, big hit there. The bench for the Tomahawks are excited for uh, that shot there. Aiden was hoping to get past there. He's standing on the doorstep with a wide open door. And now here's Owen. Owen with a chance. Lost my roster. And back the other way. The Tomahawks go. Oh, right off the defenseman skates oh, in and a good. goal. Another one. Another Brady. one for number nine. The Tomahawks take a two nothing lead here over these Manchester West Central Little Green Knights. Yeah, they're skating hard. They're getting uh, the breakout passes, leading to some breakaways. That one went in. And just like that, 11.40 to go. Just three minutes and 20 seconds into this game. The ref's going to kick out number seven, Evan Roy. Face-off won by the Little Green Knights, but they've turned over. Skating down, probably brought down. See if there's a penalty on that. Throwing back, no penalty. No referees yeah. with their arms up in the air. Looks like he was losing. Oh, now he's got an arm in the air. Oh, now he's got some roughing right there in the yeah. middle of the ice. And let's see if they both go. Number 17, Sam Lewis trying to protect his goaltender, defend that net front presence. It got a little too rough, though. And let's see. I believe it's going to be Lewis that's going to have to sit in the box for two minutes. Not what Coach Eric Fisher really wanted to see out of his club after a layoff. There's been a lot of cancellations on both sides. This is only the second game for the Tomahawks, and they have looked pretty good. But for Central West, they've had to uh, have some games canceled and stuff like that. Yeah, and that definitely throws off your entire, uh, you know, your team's chem like chemistry and flow and just overall preparedness for your games. Referee's still talking over there. Uh, we're waiting to see if is this going to be a five-minute major possibly, Cam, or is this going to stake uh -huh. a two? We're uh, waiting for the, uh, the scoreboard to light up here and tell us. But uh, it's holding up four fingers there. Uh, maybe it's a four-minute major. Waiting to see. And the players are waiting for this face-off. Owen Kelly is just anxious to get this face-off. You know, Michael Blair out there as well. And as long with Keegan Hogue. Yeah, Keegan Hogue has looked pretty good. Haven't really seen him too much so far. Yeah, you know, in previous games, but in previous games. Yeah. Oh, I see four fingers going up. The yeah. scoreboard has two. This is gonna be a long four minutes. Oh, now we got a con some contact. Defenseman there for the Tomahawks, number twenty six, Elliot Medlock. Skating backwards is a scary thing sometimes, Cam. You don't always can't always see things. Yeah, I was never very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we're up here high go. above ice instead of being out there and we got a delay here. Yeah, as what the, are they doing? What is apparently they someone on here? the, uh, who's doing the scoreboard can't figure out how to press a four instead of a two. <laughs> it's uh, it's no no easy task being a scorekeeper. Oh, now we got a four, four, oh, four. four, oh, four. Uh, they're, they're getting somewhere. They're getting closer. At least there's a four and a zero. We'll uh, you know, see if they bring up four seconds. 11.22 remaining. Oh, and now the faceoff is won by the Central West kept in. Great job by the defenseman. And now we have a whistle. Is this going to be an offside? So what's or perhaps, I didn't see an arm go up, but he did hit the guy in uh, number seven in the numbers right there. And now, just like that, oh, seven's gonna go. just seven seconds into their four minute advantage, and we have a penalty on yep. the uh, Tomahawks. On Evan Roy. Not sure, I didn't really see what happened there. I thought he was the one who got hit. I think it was a roughing. He tried to keep the puck in, and instead of playing the puck, he went for the player. Yeah. And uh, just like that, we're gonna go to the other end of the ice, and four on four for two minutes. And then back to the power play for the Tomahawks. And then back to the power play for the Tomahawks. So, face off, oh, got a face off one, brought back, number Good four, shot, shot from afar, and saved. And that's uh, Ben Hardy in net for the Tomahawks. He's the composed. The junior, or ski, senior, excuse me, six foot one, hundred and fifty-five pounds, and he has yet to give up a goal this year, Cam. So we'll see if he oh, can wow. have this uh, streak broken down. Mr. Shot from Shut far, out. stolen, I guess. Good job by seeing this, the shot and just taking it. And now Central West. Trying to keep it in this zone. Good job by five. Uh, oh, another big collision there. 
Owen Kelly trying to find the open man. And now we got another whistle. What? Chippy game. Wow, this is a, a this is almost like a, a slap shot type game so far. Uh -huh. It's like we're playing in Canada. We got the Hanson brothers. Oh, and number three goes into the box. Wow. Jason De Bocourt. And a five, a four minute power play has turned really rough for the Tomahawks. Yeah, kind of squandering their chance there. They are and now four on percent. three. Wow. And a matter of three seconds, they went from a five on four to now a four on three. Let's see if the Little Green Knights can capitalize here. Probably the uh, best chance to turn the momentum in this game, at least so far. Owen who knows Kel if they'll get another one. Yeah, who knows if this, uh, we'll see what happens. But we got the Owen Kelly, Aiden Kelly. Uh, I see Number a Keegan Hogue. And uh, is that a five I see? Is that a Caleb Page? I believe that it's Caleb, Caleb Page. Page. That's, yeah. Face off one, back to Page. Page whiffs on it, throws it back to Kelly. Aiden, that is. Aiden shot and Save. saved. Owen tries to take it. Now both guys go down. Still fighting for it. He comes out with it. Remember, four and three shot up front. And he's going to wrap it up. Nice, smart move by Ben Hardy. She yep. makes sure that that did not get past him. He's feeling the pressure there for sure. Definitely. Uh Good, good smart move to cover the puck up, just get another face off. This team's been doing pretty well on the face off. So far. I agree. I th I've noticed the same thing, Cam. I'm, thank you for bringing that up. A face off won again by Central West. Shot deflected. Ooh, back backhand shot. Hander. Hardy's going to take it and wrap it up again. That was and geez, a dangerous Keegan whipping. Keegan Hogue gets up. His teammates like, hey, it was an accident. No worries. No harm. No foul. Oh, look at that sportsmanship. Oh, that's good to see. Oh, oh, now, yeah. maybe not. <laughs> a little friendly, just saying hello. Get away from my goalie. I guess Dylan that's what. Sadowski. He's got some grit. And face off kind of won by such a West. They're trying to keep it in the zone. Smart got move. Aiden. Shot. Drive and just Caleb. wide. Almost fine. So Owen Kelly there for the redirect. He's going to keep it around. We still got 50 seconds on this four on three. Out to oh, the pass. point. Point just misses. Around they go, around the net. Tries to fake it, goes around, shot, and it's going to be wrapped up by Hardy again. I like what Paige was thinking there, passing instead of shooting, because obviously the shooting lane was being clogged. Uh, just couldn't connect, though, just a little bit wide. A bit of a line change here from Central West. In comes Matthew LaForge and Ethan Hawthorns. Face off again, won by the Little Green Knights. This is looking good for them. Oh, good Kept job. in. But given to the Tomahawks, see if the Tomahawks can do anything. Thrown down behind the net. Oh, nice redirect off the boards. Central West really has to get something going. They, they need to get, get at least a goal here being down two. They're getting some shots on net at least. Uh, I guess they're giving uh, Hardy a little bit of a chance to get warmed up uh, as this is... Ooh. Interesting shot there. Didn't even seem like he had a very good skating um, grip on the skates here. Yeah, well, and Hardy, now Hardy not surprised. Aiden Kelly coming up, makes a move, loses the puck, goes over to the corner. Ooh, Kelly's with still with it. The puck Comes back around. Oh, another juke, a hop shot. Saved, and hey! the goal! Aiden Kelly shot it, and Hardy did not have a good grip of it. And in comes Matthew LaForge for the goal. Making this a one goal game, two to one, with yep. still 14 seconds to go on the power play. I guess it's gonna make a four on four now. Yep, Central West getting a man in front of the net as much as they possibly can. It's a good way to score. It's an underrated way to score too. And you know, a game that's progressing more and more about speed and puck handling. That physical presence in front of the net is often underlooked. Ben Hardy's streak, a great streak of uh, 20, 40, 60, 70, oh, wait. 71 minutes. They haven't put the goal up yet. They have not, they've, they're a little bit slow. They don't usually put it up until after the uh, the puck's been dropped. So that's something I noticed with the scorekeeper. They, they don't rush it for some reason. The puck's dropped and they will probably put it up in just a moment. And our here comes the Tomahawks shot. Save there, brought out and not cleared all the way. Tomahawks still a chance, deflected and hopefully they can get out. And, now he look like this. Come around. Nice backhanded. Get it out of the zone. 
I still haven't seen the goal go up yeah, there. Yeah, they might have waved it off for some reason. Oh, great move there. Try to go for the pass, did not work. Good defense there by the Little Green Knights. Backhand clear, did not work. And now just, there's still another minute and 10 left on the power play for the Tomahawks. They finally get a chance to enjoy the power play. Shot, stopped, deflected. Backhanded try, still not out of the zone. Back behind the net it goes. Shot and a goal. And after just a few seconds of only a, a two to one lead, the Tomahawks get another one, and now it is three to one. I believe that was Owen Minor. I don't think they're counting that goal. I think they might have waved it off for incidental contact. I didn't see the ref signal for a goal, and they still haven't put it up yet. We'll we see, shall see, because they had the faceoff at center ice, and if it was called off, then it would have been in that zone. That's true. So I think that the uh, the person running the, uh, the scoreboard is is not really up to the what we're used to at JFK Coliseum, but we'll either way, refs, we're gonna have to keep a good eye on the refs for sure as the Tomahawks get a goal and lead it. Oh, now is another opportunity. Nice fake shot. Just either saved and gone wide or wide altogether. Dylan Sadowski with the tough play on the half wall to shut down. I think it was Aiden Kelly trying to break out. He created that whole play, that entire chance. Tomahawks looking very good now that they are not having two guys in the penalty box. Ooh, big hit. And another whistle. Let's see who the penalty's on. It looks like it's going to be on number 12. The fans right now, you can hear them from here. Are oh, they are going to credit that goal. There you go. Not there pleased go. as now, see if Central West can get another goal here. Oh, 17, Sam Lewis is going to the box Oh, well. never mind. Sam Lewis goes in as well. Yeah, they both had a uh, pretty big contact in the corner down here, and they must have called them roughing or something. Oh, four on four. That's Lewis' second penalty of the game. This will be six penalty minutes and two penalties for him. I, apparently, we're going to stick with a five on five. Both players are just going to have to sit this out. Yeah. Oh, well then, if it's maybe it's five minutes for both of them. They still haven't put it up on the board. We're just going to have to go with the flow here, Cam. That's what we're doing. Yep. For Manchester Public Television, we're happy to be here. Turnover in their own zone are the Little Green Knights. Campaign. They have to get this out of here. It's right in front. Pushed out and still kept in. Shot deflected out wide. Tomox get it. Tries to go uh, for the short side, shot. did not work. That was a poor shot by Evan Roy. I don't know what he was thinking. Well, David Hood did a good job of keeping that his shoulder pad right well, by hit, the post. hit the side of the net. <laughs> well, he was aiming for it. There wasn't much room. Back shot out to the side. Maybe if he was a righty, that would have been had a chance of going in, but his forehand was behind the net. And we will get a offsides, I believe. These whistles are tough. They were... Uh, they're not just the normal whistles that you, you blow into. They actually are handheld whistles. So mm -hmm. they're not the typical thing. They're, they're really trying everything that they can to, to avoid any sort of spreading of, of uh, airflow, I guess, breathing and stuff like that. So instead, you got the handheld whistles. Uh, I, that's a new sound here. I, I'm not sure what that is. Just calling over the ref to discuss something, it looks like. This has Straight been a, a fun out. first period here. 6.47 remaining as uh, the referee now has to talk to both coaches to talk about that. Coach Dan Bellevue of the Tomahawks with assistant coaches Eric Hayden and Michael Hayden. Head coach. A lot of confusion uh, here. A lot of confusion. That's three to one either way with 6.47. Now we will have a face-off. Face-off. One back by the Central Little Green, but the Tomahawks get to it first. And Roy just out skating uh, number five there, Caleb Page. You don't like to see your uh, your defenseman get out skated. That's that's not a good sign. These Tomahawks seem like they are coming here pretty well rounded as skaters. Steal by Owen Kelly there. But yeah, just like that, out. talk about a good skater. Yeah, right. Skater Best right one for the team. Central Little Green gets it. He's making some moves, tries to go high. It's deflected over the net 
He still gets the puck. He's skating around. Sends it back to the defenseman. Nice, nice drive by Aiden there. Stick save wide. Shot there. Uh, oh, we got a player down. Wide shot. And not a good sign here as someone from the Tomahawks is down yeah. and is motionless right like now. It's 14. It's hard to tell from the angle here, but he's. It's definitely a moving. one. Uh, I think that they're going to call for the. Oh, he's getting up now. Okay, that's what we like to yep, see. I, I, I held off zooming in just so I didn't want to see anything like, a, you know, in Massachusetts with uh, AJ uh, Bishop Fian High School. Yeah, AJ Quetta. Let's AJ hope Quetta. Like that ever happens. Obviously, yeah. he's moving, so this is obviously a much better sign, but I did not want to zoom in on that right. until I saw that he was moving. Trainer's checking him out now. Looks Cam maybe, Hingham, maybe the dazed. senior forward, 5'7", 142 pounds. He's a starter here for the Tomahawks. So not to not to good to see him down on the ice. You can see his teammates surrounding him in some ways, making sure that uh, they know that we, they got his back and everything like that. And thankfully he's able to get up. He's able to skate on his own terms. He definitely feels shaken up for sure. We'll have to pay attention to the number 14 to see if he comes back out on the ice for the That's Tomahawks. Always a scary moment. Glad to see him walking off under his own power. He's going to go to the Hitting. middle of the bench, so that's obviously a sign of uh, he's kind of in timeout. Face off one by the central little green knights. Shot. Oh. Saved and pushed aside. Hardy once again. Central doing a great post. job of keeping it in the zone. Another opportunity here. Shot. Just looks like he missed, and now here comes the other way. Good work by 27, or excuse me, 22, Michael Blair. Blair has to get it out. He does, and it's not going to go for an icing. It goes right to number eight, Connor Dunn, the freshman Connor Blair's Dunn. there to get the pass. In deep. Oh, Weak backhander, shot, goes wide. Uliumi. Merrimack really taking an opportunity here. It's been on the, down the other end of the ice, but I feel like both teams shot from afar, deflected there by number three, Owen Kelly. Still can't get out. Now a, a great it. opportunity oh. and a shot and a goal. Number nine. Again, that's a hat trick. A hat trick. My goodness. He's just a freshman, ladies and gentlemen, and he's already got three goals. And that gives the Tomahawks a three-goal lead yep. here in the first period, Cam. Not much David Hood could do to stop that. He had another guy on this other side, and it was either you know play him or play the or play uh, number nine with the puck. And either way, you know. You're uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Absolutely. Owen Kelly had gone away thinking that the puck was going to come out and he was going to have an opportunity. He That might have been his guy that he was supposed to take care of. Instead, he was worried about the puck getting out of the zone and left uh, number nine all open. And now he's got a hat trick and they have a 4-1 to one lead Can't with 4.50 to go in this first period. And that will go for an icing. Now an opportunity for the Central West to get something going. They, they've done a pretty good job on the face-offs, Cam, as you've, you've said, and they do a pretty good job of keeping it in the zone. It's just getting it past Ben Hardy. Yeah, he's been stonewall tonight, but like you said, Central has been uh, spending more time in the offensive zone than we've seen in games past. Definitely playing more structured hockey, and they're still in this game. They, absolutely. I mean, the scoreboard says uh, a three-goal difference, but the way the Central West is playing, it's, it's not bad at all. We're proud to see them playing this well. Definitely improved. You're seeing a lot of defensive posturing by uh, Aiden Kelly, the captain, as well. He's kind of doing it all. Now he's going to line up on the point here. It's almost like they just have him playing defense in this game. When you got, when you can skate that fast and you're able to make moves and, uh, you know, Ooh, look at Bobby Orr. There. You know, I'm not going to say yeah. that he's anything close to Bobby Orr, but, you hey, know. Ray Bork. Ray Bork had <laughs> speed, too. It's, it's, it's one of those things where if you can help your team, got oh, we've got a whistle and let's see. They're skating after someone, and I'm not sure, Cam. Yeah. Hmm. Um, What's the call here? Yep, I see a player from the box in the box here for the Tomahawks. Number Looks like it's number three, three Jason De Beaucourt. Second penalty of the game. Not good for him and for Sam Lewis. Face off one shot, kind of def a bouncer. And now they got to do something. Uh, Caleb Page is in a good position, but 
turned it over in the neutral zone. Not, never want to see that, absolutely. Uh, a fall there by number five, Caleb Page. And high up in the net, it goes deflected, and we'll get a face-off in the offensive zone for the Tomahawks, being on the power play. And it's a pleasure to be here with you all on this Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. We're still dealing with COVID protocols, so it's nice to be here as the Merrimack is actually getting the home ice. Uh, big thanks, a shot, save there again by Hood. Hood trying his best yeah. to keep this a three goal game. Seems the central defenders are, always, are seem to be in good position to intercept passes and stuff. Stolen. But once they get it, they turn it over. I want to give a shout out to uh, Central Athletic Director Mike Winters and the Merrimack Athletic Director Mike Suzy for allowing us to be here. Obviously this is a home game for the Tomahawks. This is not, uh, being away are the Little Green, a shot there and saved again by Hood. Good but drive by Cam Hagen, number 14 for the Tomahawks. You'd like to appreciate good hockey and we're trying to give you the best hockey that we can between two uh, Good rivals here, still here in the Queen City over at Central West Side Ice Arena on Electric electric Lane, I believe it is, Cam. I don't know what you had in your GPS. I just wanted oh, to get here. Oh, that's another one. Wow. Top shelf, bottom down, basically, and Tomahawks. Five goals, Cam, in the first period, and Elliot, Elliot Medlock gets his first goal of the game. It was a great shot top shelf where mama keeps the cookies and I'm not sure if it's electric lane could be electric avenue it's not electric avenue no. that's up in uh, <laughs> that's up in Concord I know that for a fact not gonna rock down to electric avenue no not here on the west side we don't there's not much rocking going on today but we'll see if Central West can get some rocking going here oh big well, takedown there you can make an argument for interference there. I thought the same thing the referee was right there but here we go the Tomahawks looking to take advantage of this a shot Centered, oh, good job by the defenseman to block that. Another shot here. Save. Number 10 trying to get it out. It does not able to do oh, it. A centering pass. Again. Battle of hockey right here. Shot from afar in the blue line. And he's gonna hold it up. And the parents get a little lively here. They're not happy to see uh, their kids getting beat up and you know giving it back and forth. They, well, they're a physical game. They're rooting for the uh, the officials to make something happen. Number nine, uh, Brandon Gugliami. I'm, I'm still not sure exactly how to say his name, but Gugliumi? Gugliumi. We'll get a, a, a whole idea of how to say that in between periods well, for he sure. he was in the slot and he had a good chance, but number 17, Sam Lewis, recognized it and shut that down pretty quick. He's already got the hat trick and they got to keep an eye on him for Absolutely. him because uh, obviously he's an integral part of this Tomahawk team. And now... Tomox still keeping in the zone, centering pass, still fighting for it. And number six, oh, the turnover, basically in front of the net. Not a good look right there. Central West has to get back to what they were doing earlier in this period as they were really putting a, uh, some great chances up there on Dodge. But instead, we've seen all Tomhawks over the past few minutes shot. Nice oh, job Aiden by the Kelly. Aiden Kelly Blocking to stop that. that. that must is not been. able to clear it. Shot. They know to go high at this point on Hood because that seems to be what they've been aiming for. And oh, come down. Shot. Ooh. Move. Oh, what wow. a save there by Hardy. I must, I think that might have been poked away by number nine. But great moves by Aiden Kelly juking around the defenseman. Oh, another good collision. Down on his knees he goes. I think the Central West took the brunt of that one. It looked like number 19, Mike, Micah Hoffman, was a little bit uh, frazzled for a moment. Yep. We are down to the last 80 seconds of this first period action, a five to one Tomahawk lead. Just a correction on the poke track, that was eight, Connor Dunn. Owen Kelly tries to get around. He uses the back of the net, an interesting way to get around the, the the Tomahawk player. Here comes Owen Kelly. Owen still nice with the moves. puck. He's trying to go coast to coast. The board is his friend. He used the boards, he used the back of the net. It's it's anything that he can. Obviously we're in the, the dark corner there that we cannot see here on Manchester Public Television. 
Under 60 seconds to go in this first oh. period. The Tomahawk player falls, able to regain himself. And now, here they come the other way. Nice pass, a little hey, behind him. And that over. should go for an icing. No, excuse no, me. Turnover. I didn't realize that uh, the Tomahawk player had taken it. And we have 30 seconds to go. See if Central West can do anything to Looks end like this just period. They're trying to get pucks in deep here, but they just keep turning it over to the Tomahawks. And Tomahawks. Oh, Ooh. good play there. A seeing clear of the zone. He does not. Stays there. Another Deflected. Block. That one was Matthew Blair. Good job by Blair to get in oh, the way yeah. of that. Yeah, man down and a hand up. Number 18 oh. is down. That would be Patrick Caffrey. No relation to Christian or yeah. Ed. But now we'll have a power play for the last six seconds of this first period as Sam Lewis <sighs> spends another two minutes in the box as a total of eight minutes in this first period for Lewis. Uh, Coach Hoffman or Coach Fisher is not going to be pleased with that as they go into the intermission here, hoping that they can keep this a four-goal lead for the Tomahawks. Well, obviously, they'll have the power play to start the second period, but to see if they can stop this for the final six seconds. Shot there, wrapped up. Nice job by Hood. Hood. Ready for that. They seem to be uh, challenging his five hole quite a bit too, but his stick's been there pretty much every time. They're waiting for him either to go low to go high or just go low and see how it goes. And now it's final two seconds of the period. Face off one by Central West, oh, excuse me, by Merrimack, and the buzzer sounds as we go to the first intermission. An exciting first 20 minutes of this game, Cam, with the Merrimack Tomahooks taking control, getting the lead quickly. Central West got a goal to make it a two to one game, but three unanswered for the Tomahawks and they go into the period with a lead. Yeah, Central is definitely playing them tough, but maybe a little too tough with all these penalties uh, they've been taking. And um, I don't know, I mean, they have, they do look improved, but the Tomahawks got speed, they got size, and they got definitely some uh, shooting ability. And they got Braden Guliama, the Freshman sensation here. We're already with a hat trick. And we'll just leave it on the scoreboard here. We'll be back after the Zamboni gets on the ice. And uh, enjoy this. My name is Kyle Hebe. That's Cam Tranchmontane. And we'll be back for the start of the second period in just a few moments. Well, as we come back here for the second period action from the West Side Arena, we want to give a quick edit to uh, the way we were saying a player for Merrimack. It's Gualyumi, the freshman sensation Hayden Gualyumi is the one with the three goals. We were mispronouncing his last name. His dad was nice enough to come talk to us and it happens to them a lot. You know, Cam, it's, uh, you, you, you've I've grown up there. living with it as well. I've been there. I used to play, you know, some team sports when I was a kid and almost never would they pronounce my last name correctly. Well, it's kind of tough with 15 letters and a couple of silences. Yeah, you, you definitely have that, but Kualyumi, it does not have that many letters. It just, uh, some, some of the words, letters are a little bit silent than we were expecting. So G is silent. The G is silent, and uh, either way, he's looked good. The five foot seven, 170 pound freshman forward here for the Tomahawks. Yeah, like but you said, he's been a sensation. We have still a minute and 54 seconds on the penalty kill for Central West. They come into this game having only scored four goals, but they got one here in the first period, so the things are looking good. They just need to score four goals at this point to uh, yeah, to yeah. tie this game up and hopefully not let any more in. Not let any more in. That's, that's, that's the main part, too. But... Uh, Nice job by Owen Kelly. I talked to him in between periods. Just He's skating pretty well, and he's out there to start this period as the uh, Tomahawks come down, decides to push it back. Flip up by number 12 there is Dylan Sadowski. It might Owen. be another name I'm saying improperly. Oh, I think it's Sadowski. Sada oh, another hit there. Is that Aiden? That was Aiden. He says, you know, man, I don't like the way you're playing. So. This is my eyes. This is my ice. I'm in, I live in Manchester, not you guys. <laughs> and a whistle way back behind the, the play. Nine, it looks like. Matthew LaForge. 
Matthew LaForge, the goal scorer. And we'll see what happens here. LaForge skating over to the bench, kind of feeling a little uh, hanging in some part of his body. We'll see what happens there. He's been an integral part of this team, the forward. No penalty on the play. I'm not sure what that was, they but called uh, it offside with where they put the face. That's off. that's possible too. Yeah. Okay. Well, one minute into the period, and Central West looking to break something up here. Keegan Skates goes. around. Here Keegan Ooh, almost man. Nice loses the puck. Good job by the defense. Yeah, good post check by Medlock. Here he comes. Now he's coming around, makes some moves, stood up, and brought down. Aiden Kelly, once again, this is my eyes. Aiden Kelly loving to do that, you know? He, he's definitely got size. Oh, look at this. Mm. Owen. Maybe he would have should have passed that one. Oh, now he's going to be boarded up here a little bit. He had Keegan wide open, looking for the one-timer in the high slot. That's always a high percentage shot. I would have passed that. And now here comes the other end. Oh. Underneath him, hold up! Nope, no goal. No goal? Out. My gosh! Goalie David Hood did not know where it was. It was right underneath him. As soon as he started to move, the puck kind of came out. And thankfully, the puck stays out of the net. 11 seconds still remaining on the penalty kill for Central West. 13 seconds, 13 16 remaining. And still a yeah. five to one Tomahawk lead. Looked like Aiden Kelly's maybe blew a tire there and fell into the, the net and knocked it off its hinges. I wonder if they would have waved it off if that didn't happen. That's might have been a smart move on his yeah. part for sure to right. make sure that did not happen. But David Hood made the initial save, and that's always a goalie's worst nightmare if the pucks have been eaten and you accidentally kick it in. Face off one by Central West, flip back and out of the zone. Oh, he kind of uh, goes. A little weak on the backhanded pass. Whoa. Oh, he checks Friendly his own fire. player. And the power play is over. Central West is able to kill it off without allowing a goal. And see, I don't know if that hit the ceiling or what happens, but they've whistled it off. Huh. And Aiden is just throwing up his hands in the air like, that's, come on. Yeah, he was trying to flip the puck up and get a, uh, a breakout uh, pass breakaway. But yeah, the refs blew it dead. Must have gone up in the rafters. Much lower ceilings here Much compared lower. to JFK. You can see that the beams are right there and ice is right there. Face off one by the Tomahawks. Backhanded pass out in front. Oh, now turn around and around. he's going to cover it up. Smart move by Hood. And I got to say, a great opportunity there by the Tomahawks. Yeah, Medlock was in a great position to score there, but the uh, little Green Knights shut that down. Good defense. Well, they Need to keep that good defense going right now. Face off one, tries to get out of the zone. It does. It does. And now Central West Grace on their horses. Got coming it. around, coming around, tries to juke. Shot, and he's going to be covered up. Nice job by Hardy. Yeah, and a great opportunity there for the Little Green Knights. It looks like Caleb Page was trying to get involved in the play there, but Owen made the toe drag and kind of went up right next to Page. Maybe didn't have as much room as he thought he would have, but... Again, it's a great save by Hardy, He's sticking with the toe drag. And Owen Kelly with the face-off win, kept in. A high stick. stick. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, oh. he, that referee was ready to call that. Oh, he blows a tire. Tough job by there by Hoffman. Now he comes the other way. A missed pass oh. opportunity there for the Tomahawks. Fed him, diving to try to Let him a little session. too far, and he wasn't able to get that. Out of the zone oh, it goes, we go. and now here we go oh. again. A two-on-one. He passes oh, it. Oh, good defense there. Defense. And now, the other way, Tomahawks come down. The pass. Go. Oh, oh, he feels that. He lost his stick. And, and Sam Lewis takes out two Tomahawks. Oh, one guy's. Yeah, he, he, he took a huge collision knee. with the wall. And he's able to uh, sit up, so that's a good sign. All right, he's all right. I mean, a little stinger. Oh, good. it's. That wall does not feel nice when you're sliding that quickly. So we'll see how he does after this. Sam Lewis continues to be a uh, physical force out there. He took out two players with one hit. Elliot, <laughs> Elliot Medlock able to skate over to the bench. And uh, we'll get a face-off outside the 
defensive zone for Central West. So we'll see if they can continue their hot face-off winning. Uh, they do not. Uh, it's okay. We still like them. We're still rooting for them. Nice turn there. Passes it up. Central West throws it at the goal. Seven needs to like hustle back on sides. Ethan Hartshorn, he was taking his time and basically took away any chance of them, of the uh, Little Green Knights making a play. Kept in and now out of the zone it goes. Oh, all the way down. Here's an opportunity there for Dylan. Ooh, just whipped on the shot. And can they get it out? They, Merrimack keeps it in. We got a strip get off some six, sticks, skates. It's, it's just down in this little area. Owen Cleared Kelly out and time. now, oh, just not able to get a hold of the puck. Stick handling was yeah. difficult on, with a bouncing puck. Tomahawks come down, trying to make something happen. Whoa. Goes behind the net, able to keep the puck. Incredible job of stick handling. Owen Sadowski, number 21, has been excellent with the poke checks. The, that last chance that the Tomahawks had was the result of him Out clearing the Out front, a great feed, just not able to capitalize there. And now, coming down. Thanks for the puck. And it will go as an icing. A little, a uh, little bit of a check there at the end of the. I don't have number six number here, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, what's up with that? I, I'm not sure where he, where number six is. Well, I guess I'll have to talk to Eric Fisher here and find out who that is. A bit of a what for on that. 10:40 remaining in this second period from the West Side Ice Arena. I'm Kyle Heavey. This is Cam Transfontaine for Manchester Public Television doing the bro live broadcast here on Channel 16. Uh, Central Little Green Whoa, Knights falls there. down. Now an opportunity here, a backhanded shot. And we got a penalty, penalty and we'll probably have double penalties because that, uh, that was a whistle and obviously he just decided, I'm gonna just check him out of here. Oh, Cam, that's Sam Lewis again, his 10th minute is uh, sitting in the penalty box. Oh, excuse me, that's uh, 12. That 12. So that is Keegan Hogue. Keegan Hogue this time, yep. I saw the one, and I thought that was a seven, the way these jerseys are sat up, but I was wrong. It's definitely tougher to see the jerseys from here than, you know, our vantage point at JFK. The Central Little Green in the green unis with the blue legging and the Central... Oh, excuse me, the Merrimack Tomahawks in the blue in the white jerseys with the blue pants as well. Yeah, I love the jerseys for the little green. It almost looks like the Whalers. The Whalers who left Hartford to go down to Carolina and was able to win a Stanley Cup, but they'll always have a, uh, a loving feeling here in New England. And uh, I don't Most know. Recently if, got swept by the Bruins. Uh, that <laughs> did happen as well. That's correct. And it looks like it's going to be a four-minute major oh, again, wow. Cam. Still a five to one lead for the Tomahawks and they are looking to add to that as well. Out there we'll see Aiden Kelly and we'll see the, Matthew Blair out here. A lot of penalty minutes for the little green. That's up to, what is that, 12 now. 12, 12 minutes, minutes that they've been on a penalty kill. And we got six on the Tomahawk side. I guess out of that 12 minutes, three of it was a four on three. But either way, you've still had a penalty kill for nine minutes, and we've only played. Well, there's two players in the box for the Little Green Knights. That's true. It looks like Sam Lewis might be in there too. I thought I saw Sam getting penalized, and I, I saw the tw 12. I, it's tough to pay attention with so much going on. Only one on the board, though. Tom Hawks throws it across, not able to get a hold of it. Tries to clear it out of the zone. Kept in. Shot. Deflected out. And Central West First able to get out of in. here. Look at this speed. Oh, goes back forth. Oh, oh what effort. a good effort. A great goal. And the That's something we're always going to remember here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Aiden Kelly. He's going to put that in his highlight reel for college for sure because that was an absolute beaut. Just skating the whole puck north to south across the entire length of the ice, juking out the defenseman and somehow still managing to keep the puck, even while the defenseman was in a good position to stop him. And it looks like he shot it 
just under the pad of Hardy there on the, uh, the right leg. That makes this game a 5-2 to two Tom Lox lead. And even though that they, uh, they are on the power play, this is the second time Merrimack has given up goals when they've been had a four minute advantage for the Central Little Green, or excuse me, the Central Little Green have been on the four minute uh, disadvantage here. So. Yeah, penalty killing unit looking good. Oh That's my big. good gosh! A penalty there for the Central West side. A crazy collision there. Thankfully, everyone seems to be okay, but I think unfortunately. The ref thinks he caught him up high. Because other, yeah, elbowing, they're called elbowing. Other than that, it looks like a good hit in the middle of the ice. Owen Kelly gonna go join his teammates. I guess uh, it's gonna be standing room only here in the penalty box. Coach Eric Fisher absolutely upset over this call. And that's gonna make this a five on three advantage for the yeah, Tomahawks. For two minutes and then another you know, four man penalty kill. Face off one, that. brought back to the defense, sends it across ice. Tomahawks trying to do anything, but it's deflected there by Aiden Kelly. Up into the net it goes. Well, he's clearly been their best player tonight. Owen seems pretty frustrated with uh, some of the plays he's been trying to make and the call against him, obviously. And, and Keegan Hogue has been excellent too. Face off one by the Tomahawks, sent over defense and winds up, shot wide, able to get it and clear the zone. It's tough right now for Central player. West as they have to escape really wow. far. Stolen just about, but Almost. able to take advantage of it is Dylan. Aiden Kelly so dangerous. He cleared that puck and then skated all the way down and almost stole it. <laughs> Aiden is going to have a quite a bit of ice time by the end of this game for sure. Absolutely. Shot there. Boy, this puck's going everywhere right now. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for anyone watching at home. I'm trying my best to uh, do the commentary and film at the same time. So just know I'm trying to follow the puck as well as I can. But obviously these Tomahawks are passing it left and right and north, south, east, west, everywhere. Shot wide is going to stay in the zone there. Good job by Dylan to get across. Back behind the net it goes. Tom Hawks trying to set something up. Only 50 seconds remaining on the five on three. The that was almost a goal. And what are they, they going to call this? Are they calling that a goal? I don't see any that. celebrating. Yeah. What are they calling that? I am still kind of taken back right now myself. Well, the face off is in the offensive zone. I think that the ref goalie or the referee could not see where the puck was and whistled it dead, even though it was on the other side of him, the uh, the blocker side. Hmm. And instead, here we go. Bad pass across, winds up, shot. Drive by Connor Dunn. Back behind the net. Central West trying to keep this steal. game a three goal Kelly lead. And look at this. Oh, tries to make the same move again, does not work this time. Dunn's wise to it. 20 seconds left body. on the five on three for the Tomahawks. Trying to get on the scoreboard this period. They have yet to do it. And back they go. Last few seconds of this five on three and then they'll get another minute and five on a five on four. So a great opportunity for these Tomahawks to increase their lead. But Central West doing anything that they can to keep it from happening. Owen Kelly trying to find his brother there. Not able to get zone. out. And around the net they go, just trying to kill some more time. 50 seconds on the penalty kill. Kept in the zone though, are the Tomahawks help him skating out. it. Two on one, puck battle oh, on the boards. Seemed like he uh, was trying to fake that. Someone pushed him. A little flailing going on in some ways. This isn't soccer, it's obviously hockey. And we'll get a whistle for, I believe, offsides. Yeah, I think so. Five to two lead yeah. for the Tomahawks. They had a, are missing out on a great five on three opportunity to increase their lead. And now, Central West hopefully can win this face off. And strange place to have the face off. I thought the same thing, Cam, I'm not gonna lie. Dot on the same side though. Owen Kelly taking the face off along with Evan Roy. 
Face off one sent down into the zone behind goalie Ben Hardy. Stolen here. Wraps in the way. I hate when the zebras get in the way of the game. It's gonna happen, and we get a whistle. For what? I don't know. They're, I mean, some sportsmanship right here. Huh. And we're going to get the puck all the way down the other end of the ice. Looks like Kelly and Dylan Sadowski were trying to battle for the puck. The ref, for some reason, blew it dead. Sadowski and Kelly giving them, giving each other a fist bump there. It's like, hey, man, no hard feelings. The last few seconds of this power play. And Central West trying to cut, block it off. And they do a five-on-five -five game now. Great kill. Shot. Using his glove is David Hood to keep it a 5-2 to two game. His teammates giving him some love, saying, good job, man. We're, we're trying our best for you. Kevin Hoag is taking off his gloves and in in his gear. Uh, Keegan Hoag? Some things out. Keegan Hoag, excuse me. And, and behind the, the net it goes. Oh, looks like it could be a hooking call there. See if they got say anything. And now here we go. Oh, get taken oh, off. Good effort, Save man. there. Collision. And see if we get a, a penalty shot or something here. It's going to be a power play for Central West. Either way, good. as skating to the box is number 16, Tyler Harris. Tyler Harris, the sophomore defenseman, five foot nine, hundred fifty pounds, and with six minutes to go in the second period, the Little Green Knights with an opportunity to get within two goals. Well, let's see if they can capitalize. They've definitely had some chances on the uh, on breakaways, but obviously this is not going to be a breakaway type situation. Yeah, They're going to have to keep it in the zone the whole entire time. Shot. Good job with trying was Owen Kelly. Oh, excuse me, that was uh, actually Matthew LaForge out in front. And now Merrimack with an opportunity, skating around, loses Taylor the puck. Got to take that loose puck. And now, see a central, oh, skates around, looking, looking, shot just wide. He was trying to find Owen Kelly there, but just couldn't quite connect. Kelly tried to make a, a little juke move, did not work, and down the other end of the ice, far enough where David Hood comes out of position to get the puck. Misses one guy, coming up, coming up, looking, goes to the side, middle of the ice, makes a move, goes to the, the right side, Aiden's skating around, oh. shot, oh, it. good job by the defenseman there to block it. Oh, and so look at this, picking. all the way down, <laughs> and that's David Hood making yeah. the smart move. Evan Great Roy job by the Tomahawks on that play. Yeah. If that only had connected, he would have had a complete breakaway. Yep, Evan Roy was cherry picking out of the blue line and looks like the little green defense has lost track of him. Can't let that happen. 58 seconds remaining on this five on four opportunity for the little green Knights. Face off one and now come to the other end of the ice they go. Owen Kelly with the soft pass. He loves doing that. Lo loves doing that. It's one of his favorite teammates is himself. Oh, almost Out in front. Page. Oh, it comes back to him. See if he winds up. He does. Shot just wide. Oh, he's not able to connect with LaForge. And oh, now here come here. the other way. An opportunity for the... And he goes wow. top. Oh, what oh, a goal oh. there. Oh, he's doing the Conor McGregor dance. Giving I've... some love to his teammates. And Elliot Medlock, I believe that's the second yep. of the game. That is. We got to retire that Connor McGregor celebration after he. Uh, you can thank Brad Marchand of the Bruins for doing that in the hockey world. Yeah. And just like that, on the penalty kill, Merrimack says thank you very much and gets the goal to make it a 6 to 2 lead. And now, see what they can do. 30 seconds remaining on the 5 on 4, our Central West. Trying to get around is number seven, El uh, Ethan Hawthorns. 22. Oh, no. Oh, another opportunity here, but Hood goes to cover it. Does not Is not able to cover it up. Thankfully, goes to the other end. Long pass. Does not go to anyone. Just the final seconds. 
An easy little dink down Which the other ice. Sam Lewis is thinking there. He had like three other people he could have passed to. In he the just zone. dunked it down. And now, here we go for the Tomahawks. Five on five. And a shot there by number 12, Dylan. Way to stay with it there, David Hood, because it looked like that uh, number 22, Michael Blair, may have gotten a piece of that and redirected it a little bit. You're trying to help your goalie, but sometimes it harms them if yeah. they they don't have a good eye. And thankfully, it did not matter as Hood was able to take it up, cover it up, and a face-off won by Central Little Green. Throws it down behind the ice. Two of Tomox centering feed, taken, send, sends it back. They not able to uh, have nice passing, and now a battle in the dark corner, I'm going to call it, because I can't see <laughs> where the puck is at this point. It looks like it's going to come down the other way. Tomahawks get it out of oh, the that zone. Be a penalty. And or they not. throws it into the stands. Yeah, you just toss it over the over the boards. We got about 50 fans here for Merrimack between parents and fellow students. So it's the first game that I've done in quite some time, Cam, where I actually have other fans. And it's weird at the same time that I'm I'm a opposing player, but I get it here I am in my own city of Manchester. I just root for a good game. Yeah, there we go. Win or lose. It's like the Super Bowl on Sunday. This has been a good game despite the scoreboard. It's been closer than the score looks. Just a lot of breakaways. While Yumi able to get a hat trick in the first period, and that is the uh, the huge difference so far because you take away those three goals and they would only have a 3-2 to two lead. And we'll see what we got. 2.30 remaining in the second period. Central West sends it past. Back in a try. Wow. What a good job by Hardy to see it. I think it deflected off his own teammates. Yeah, Paige was trying to get that to uh, number 11, Matt Lassard in the slot. And yeah, it looks like it just Kyle. might have actually hit Hardy's stick and then got lost in his gear for a minute. Kyle Dunn, the defenseman there, also in front, the sophomore. Defenseman, six foot, 190 pounds. Pretty good size for a sophomore. Definitely jealous that I didn't get that size for my parents. Face off one, try to keep it in. Uh, almost a pass to a Tomahawk player, and we'll set it down. This will go as an icing. Yeah, good call behind the red line. Textbook icing. Textbook icing. Referees probably learned that day one. Yeah. Along with an offsides and uh, face offs. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't been to a goal or a referee clinic before, so I couldn't tell you what it consists nah, of, but. Not much, not much time at the Ref Academy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are, six to two, Tomahawk lead over the Little Green Knights. S Central West trying to do something here for the last two and a half minutes of the game. Oh, good work by Cage to take away that pass. Can he get it? Oh, look at this, look at this. Can he make some move, back oh, in try? Oh, look at this, come on. Oh. Keeps it out in the goal and sends it down, kept in by Central West. Great opportunity there. Whoa. Great defensive work by the Tomahawks. Unfortunately, the puck did not want to go into the net. Here we go with Kelly. Kelly trying to get something. He shoots. Oh, good oh, job. It was deflected in the air, that. and Hardy was able to just glove it, and we will get a faceoff. Did you see Aiden Page coming down the boards there and juggling the puck in midair with a stick? I was quite impressed with that. It was uh, really, really impressive to see what Caleb Page could do. Oh, sorry. It was Aiden Kelly. Sorry about that. Okay, well, you're mixing my. Said, you're mixing I said my. Aiden Page. <laughs> you did. That's why I was. I had a guess of which one you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, and unfortunately, the team manager got the brunt of that. He's uh, was right there. I'm not sure who that is. I know the assistant coaches are John Bride and Matt Thompson, but uh, either way, the team managers are still a part of the team, and you know. It's Hopefully, like he took it right off the face mask. He'll take that. That's why they're wearing face masks. That's where they wear <laughs> face masks out on the bench. Slap shot. Ooh, good shot. Owen, better save. Hardy. Hardy. Both goalies have to be racking up quite a uh, number of, of saves here. Yeah, fortunately, we don't have the official count, but it's definitely been a bombardment. It's a Fight behind goal. the net. Both teams trying to get it, and the Tomahawks will take it and go the other way. They Aiden attempt Kelly to. Almost stole it. Oh, we got a guy losing his I balance, and now Tomahawks coming down, pass Aiden across. 
He's all over the ice. Here we go, another chance. Pass up, pass across. Ooh, and a save. a save there by one David Hood. That was probably the save of the game. I would say so. Excellent that was a glove. great job with that glove. That the glove oh. Michael Veritek. Jason Veritek. I, I was going to say, that. I don't know if you're going Mike Richter or Jason Veritek. I, I, I was saying yeah, a little bit of both. <laughs> yes, a little bit of both. Okay. <laughs> Mike Richter always was a great job. Stanley Cup winner for the 1994 New York Rangers. Add a little red to their jerseys, and they'd have the same color, I suppose. But uh, either way, Central West, under one minute to go in this second period. Coming down, trying to make something happen. And we have a whistle. I didn't see that away from the action. Number nine is throwing his hands up in the air like, it wasn't me, come on now. I'm not sure why that was. Was that a delayed icing? I'm not even sure, Cam, on my end. I don't see. Now we got an offensive zone face off for the Tomahawks. That uh, yeah, that's, that's special here for sure as we are 45 seconds remaining in the play. Shot. Hood with another great kick save this time. Push to the side, deflected, he's gonna, oh, oh my win. gosh! Does oh, that get a goal as a, oh. You don't like to see those type goals, ladies and gentlemen. You, you, you wanna see clean goals and that was just a, a rough deflection off of a skate that goes in and I believe yeah, that's gonna go to six. number six, Dominic Carroza and Put a seven up on the board, ladies and gentlemen. A seven-two advantage for the Merrimack Tomahawks. 40 seconds remaining in this play, in this, excuse me, period. Not in the play, we, we still yeah. got another period to go. That was a bit of a fluke goal there. Kind of looks like a bouncing puck. And Hardy does a smart move, it just covers it up. And it looks like 30 seconds on the dot remaining in the second period. <sighs> I, you know, felt good. We, we, we got that second goal here for Merrimack West, and, it's, and instead, for every two goals that Merrimack West scores, it seems like it's, oh, good try there. Oh, missed again, here we go. Oh, he tries to go back in forehand. Should not have done it. Oh. Should have just gone with the one-timer shot there. And, and for every two goals, every one goal the Merrimack West scores, it seems like it's two Central for West. Central West, excuse me. Merrimack, there we go. Putting more pressure on the at the end of the period. But either way, they score, what was it, three more this period and a 7-2 lead. Yep. Central West doing a good job. I got to say that uh, David Hood is not the issue there. I nope. think that uh, there's Defense been... Defense is just letting the Tomahawks skate into the zone at will. Gotta be a little Somehow bit they gotta get a little bit faster skating along the blue line to keep them at bay when they enter the zone. Uh, I can only imagine what the score would be right now if Aiden Kelly wasn't playing like probably the best game we've seen him play all season so far. He's been making plays up and down the ice on either side in the neutral zone. He's been everywhere. Aiden Kelly's still an incredible save. He, he completely stopped a, a, a goal on the three on two rush we saw earlier in the period. The pass over to the open man with a wide open net. He got a stick in the way. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a quick break as the Zamboni is out on the ice. <sighs> we'll see what this third period has in store for Cam Transmontane. I'm Kyle Heavey from Manchester Public Television, and we'll be right back after this Zamboni ice clearing a 7 2 Tomahawk lead over the Merrimack West Little Green Knights. We are back here at the West Side Ice Arena here in Manchester for today's Division I matchup here between the Merrimack Tomahawks and the Manchester West Little Green Knights. The home team is actually Merrimack today, and they are up 7-2. My name is Kyle Heavey, and this is Cam Transmontane. Happy to be with you today for Manchester Public Television. Cam, a tough uh, second period here for the Little Green Knights. Yep. What do you think that they got can do to get back into this game here? Well, they got to be better uh, on defense, I think. Like they're letting away or letting up too many uh, breakout passes that are leading to breakaways. Um, need to be a little bit stronger in front of uh, their goaltender there, Hood. And uh, 
I don't know, they're not quite seeing the open man in the neutral zone either, so you gotta be smarter with your passes for sure. A uh, little bit of issues here in the first 15 seconds. We already got our second whistle as we've had a offsides and now what looks to be an icing. So not a good way for the uh, Merrimack Tomahawks to start this game. Benefiting the little Green Knights though, because now the yep. faceoff is down at the other end and they've looked good on the faceoff circle. Uh, win there by the Tomahawks, but we'll see what uh, what Kelly can do. Capes oh. keeps it in. And hey! Fuck, hey, just like that, under 30 seconds into the third period, and we got a Kelly Kelly. Oh, I think uh, that was Caleb Page who scored that. Might one. be Caleb Page. I Oh, no, number six. I had oh, it all wrong. Six. Of course, we don't have number six well, who gets great the goal. By Aiden Kelly to number six. A good job by number six. We, uh, we'll call you the mystery player as you looked good here for the Little Green Knights. A 7-3 lead, and now we have another icing. Not yeah. looking good for uh, Memorial to start this third period. Coach Don Bellevue has got to be a little bit worried here. He doesn't want his team to lose their momentum that they've had. Right. They're uh, up by four still, so got plenty of uh, a cushion there at least. Gwalumine, we haven't seen at all, or Gwalumi, much in the second period after he got his hat trick in the first, so if things start to get a little trippy, I expect to see, I expect to see him out there. And now coming back, Tomahawks skating in with some speed, shoots high, wide, tried to go just over the shoulder. And stolen here by number seven, Ethan Hawthorns. Throws it up, goes into the zone. Tom Ox are able to get it. Tries to pass to one of his teammates using the boards. Still stays in the zone and now finally out. And yeah, another offside. They yep. are having serious issues here. Just Can't two minutes into this game. You're up by four, but it's that lead will slip away if you let... Uh, the little green back in this game by taking stupid, you know, doing stupid plays like that. And a face off here on the outside of the circle. One by little green. Oh. Knights, that is. But stolen away, coming down. A two on one shot. Wow, what a shot. And a great goal there by Evan Roy. First of the game for Evan Roy. Evan Roy has a absolute snipe of a shot yep. there. And that's what I'm talking about. They're allowing to, the Little Green Knights are allowing too many odd man rushes. That was a two on one, had the option to pass, but took the shot when he saw the open net. Well, just like the snow that we got the other day, we have a snowman sighting here at the West Side Ice Arena <laughs> as Merrimack takes an eight to three lead. Some backhand nice forehand, skating. nice use of the blocker there. Uh, giveaway by 19. And here we go, can they? Brett. Can they stop him as they get into the lane? Shot, just wide. Back to the defense. Oh, oh good big, collision man. right below the camera right there. Oh, and oh, now he's Kelly a little bit of a scuffle there. Brady Owen Kelly. Gulami or Gulumi going at it. Gualumi. And either way, back into the zone come the Tomahawks. Defenseman trying to make something happen here. He just lost an edge. And it's here we go. Pass again by Owen Kelly. Gualumi still giving him the business. No icing there is the call. Put able to uh, just keep, pass the puck over. And up it goes into the zone, past the red line. So this will not be an icing. Let's see yep. what they can do here. Just trying to get the puck in deep there. But nobody was home. Tom Hawks. Able to do get into the zone. They they like giving this little uh, oh, nice job by Hood keeping it away. Yeah, that was a bit of an early shot. Might have caught uh, Hood a little bit off guard, but he stood with it. Or stuck with it. Excuse me. And taken down as Kyle Dunn skates with it. Good job skating backwards, forwards, using his edges, and with a line change from both sides, a high shot there by Sam Giles. And out of the zone it goes. Number six. Number six, here he comes. The unknown Little Green Knight player. Ended up giving it up. Good stick work by the defense for the Tomahawks. 
Into the zone it goes. Can Kelly's do anything? A near collision there. And back behind the net goes Michael oh. Blair. 22, Michael Blair just losing the puck, but managed to get it back. A unknown pass to number six. And uh, unfortunately a turnover, but they've keeping it down be behind the goalie there. Ben Hardy Pressure giving up six. three goals. The first goals of the year he's given up as they were able to win 7-0 versus Goffstown. A quick shot from the blue line. Yep, Hood was ready for it. Easy uh, kick save. Good job by the captain there. Aiden Kelly Here tries to get it in. He's using his speed. One hand on the stick. Shot. And deflected and held on to closely by Ben Hardy. Now he had other options there. You don't have to play ISO puck the whole time. You had Lairs coming in, entering the offensive zone. Could have had a nice back pass there. Would have maybe opened up the goalie and the defense a little bit more for a better chance. Cam, you're sounding great like a coach right now. I think that uh, Coach Eric Fisher would love you to have you on his squad next year for the way you're seeing things. Hey. I'm not doing much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's obviously during a pandemic, you, we have a lot more free time these days. That's right. And we'll, uh, we can only hope that everyone else can stay healthy. We have a little bit of a helmet issue there by number 12, Keegan Hogue. The referee is now kicking him out of the faceoff, so now we'll go to Matthew LaForge, who loses it. Yep. Uh, now we'll Hogue LaForge says... Get more involved. He's got one goal. Let's see if he can get a couple more. And now Tomox able to get it out, goes back to the defenseman. Defenseman having some trouble with it, able to get it across to it too long Aiden. There. Aiden trying to do anything he can. That's yep, Michael yep. Blair is just not skating very fast, but a roundabout. Kelly's love the self pass. Kelly coming up, Aiden that is doing a dosy -si do type, type with the defenseman, and. Tomahawk's able to get it, but now comes around. Oh, we have an offsides uh, call. Oh, getting a little uh, too uh, ambitious there. Ten minutes remaining in this game, an eight to three lead. He deserves it after the way that he just played. Face off one by the little green knights, still fighting with it, fighting for it, and they give it up. Now, here we go. A long shot there by 17, finally wrapped up. Joseph Raymond coming in here with an opportunity as a freshman forward. Five foot seven, 132 pounds. So he's gonna be, uh, he's definitely gonna be careful around Aiden Kelly. Oh, oh. big collision there. Keegan Hogue even gave him a thumbs up like, hey man, that was nice. Oh, now they're coming back. Wow. Oh, shot up high. And now let's see if Matthew Blair can get this puck out of the zone. He sends it up. He's trying to sandwich between the boards and the Tomahawk player, and he just throws it down into the zone. And now, let's see, Tomahawk. Three on two, oh. shot. Good chance and the rebound there. Raymond centering it, but is not able to connect with anyone. It goes all the way down to Ben Hardy. Oh, another, what a collision there. Sends it over across. Oh, what a nice job. Something the Central West has not done very well tonight. They've had some great goals, don't get me wrong. It's been fun to watch, but you got that right, Cam. Merrimack using a lot of passing, a lot, oh, loses it. Still ha continues to maintain possession. He's got teammates, whoop. oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, he's Making not able to, left and right. oh, oh, he's God. not able to connect with anyone. And instead, Merrimack comes back Another one. Oh, almost a, uh, oh, still fighting. Sends it over and saved there by Hood. He's got his head down, disappointing himself in that one. 
Oh, he's even still hitting his head like, come on, you put a little bit more effort into that. Lands the stick, yeah, he's, he, I don't think he realized that his team's up five goals. Well, you mean, will remember this game for a while. And Aiden Kelly tries to get it up, checks the guy, and now comes up, makes some moves. Oh, it's still in the zone, though. I think it's tough when they're all behind him. He's definitely the fastest skater for sure. You, you maintain control of the puck, you maintain control of the game. Owen, another tough pass, but this time it does not work. He says, okay, I got this, I got this. And instead, here comes the other way. Two little green knights down. And we will get a whistle. No, we will get a trip. Aiden's on the one knee saying, oh, we had an opportunity there. But they'll have an opportunity for the next two minutes. So it looks like Sadowski must have stepped Aiden Kelly and now Kelly is going down as he said, hey, I mean, incidentally. Incidentally, for sure. For the Merrimack Tomahawks, the uh, Little Green have definitely showed better discipline, not taking nearly as many as they were in the first uh, first period, for, for sure. And the second, they toned it down a bit, too. Well, Playing we, a bit more discipline. We are halfway through this third period. The Central Little Green. This would be a wild comeback. <laughs> it would, I, I don't think it's possible. It's Everything's possible, right? It's I mean, possible. That's, oh, see... You could have had a goal there he, if you got it over the six. Had an empty man next to him, and he decided to go for the glory, and it didn't want work. A shot from Ooh, the point, held on. Redirect. And another hearty save. Yeah, he's been solid. I mean, both of these goalies have been solid. The goals that Hood have let in, you know, he couldn't really do too much about most of them. One of them just was definitely not his fault. The, uh, the Dominic Carroza shot deflected there. Kept in the zone, Aiden Kelly fighting with it, fighting with it. Uh, Owen Kelly goes behind the net. He's kind of held up there, stood up. Now there's a big fight with it. Tom they got to find an open man. Oh. Tries to set it up front. There was no one there with a green jersey. And a That's bad move there by Aiden. Icing. That should have been that, icing. Well, it's not an icing on a, uh, a penalty. Oh, right. We are on the penalty I, uh, uh, that. <laughs> power play here, excuse me. Aiden Kelly coming up, find an open man, he sticks. Oh, man. I, was, I wanted him to find the open man, like you said, Cam. Into the corner they go, the dark corner, I cannot see where the puck is. There's a, a not really, this place was not meant for video, videoing games, for sure. Yeah, the ceiling's just so low. Another move around, backhand try, saved there by Hardy. Now we have 45 seconds remaining on the power play. Kept in the zone, and now finally out. A one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, Comes around, wow, sends bad. it over. Oh, just misses. Again, allowing another odd man rush. It's like we haven't seen that before, Cam. Uh, it's Coming up. all this time. Makes a move, tries to juke him. Hogue takes he's it in the corner. pushed into the corner. Hogue's still in the area with the puck. A whiff, kept in the zone. Can he get an opportunity? Ooh, there you there go. There we there go. go. All right. Aiden Kelly, I believe it is. Uh, that was Owen. Owen Kelly, excuse me. Like I was saying earlier in the game, they love having that net front presence, and it's paid off in that one. And now the lead cut literally in half, 8-4, to four, Tomahawks lead, but they only have 5.26 to go in this game. Comeback starts now, boys. Come back. Dig deep. Number seven, Ethan Hawthorns with the faceoff for Little Green. Won by the Tomahawks. Back around the net they go. Okay. Oh, Caleb Page, nice. Denying that breakout opportunity. Let's see what happens there. Tomahawks still trying to get more goals on the board. Even though they have eight, you always want to continue Almost like uses this like a practice at this point, so. Yeah, but you don't want to take your foot off the gas. Little Green's building some momentum for sure. 
Shot just wide, out in front, rebound. Good job there by Hood. Out across. Oh, would have been a snapshot, but the forward took it away from the defenseman. It almost feels like a power play at this point. Shot wide, block or save. Yeah, well, the defenseman and the... Out in front, oh, good job by Hood and finally wrap that up with his glove. Yeah, well, the reason it looked like a power play is because the Little Green Knights weren't even really skating. They were standing around like they're on the penalty kill just trying to maintain position, but you got to be aggressive. Skate after the man with the puck and try to strip it away. Gualyumi had some golden opportunities there. He was definitely uh, looking for that fourth goal, and instead he did not get it. Number 12, Dylan Sad How do you say it, Cam? Sadowski. Sadowski. Shots. Still on front. It's denied by Hood. Sadkowski still get it. Around the net. Oh, looking to uh -oh. make something happen. Oh, Dylan! What a great job by his teammate, number six, Dominic Caruza. Wow. Yeah, Hood thought that Caruza was going to go around the other side of the net and maybe, uh, you know, was a little bit too uh, you know, eager in his anticipation and left the, uh, the right side whole wide entire open Sadowski. Right side the right of way. the net was completely open. It, it, there was a giant draft going on in there, across there for Hood, and now we have a 9-4 lead. Four minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Face-off won by the Tomahawks. Hood comes out, and we will get a whistle. What are they calling that? A, what are we going to call? A hook here? Uh, calling it on Aiden Kelly. Holding. Holding. And... Tomahawks could get a 10 spot up on the board here yeah. as the best player overall, you would say, Cam, yeah. for the Little Green Knights goes and has a little seat down here. He's going to get a little talking to from one of the... You might even say he's the best player on the ice in general tonight. I mean, I know Sam uh, Gualumi has three goals, but, I mean, Aiden Kelly's been making plays on each side of the ice consistently. Defensive, offensive shot. Over the net, into the corner it goes. Good job by Owen to get it. Owen's going to hold on to it, make a man miss, oh, make nice. two miss. He's still going in the zone, loses it. Oh, he's still right there. Can he has an opportunity for a backhander. Oh, he's taken down. Whoa. And we will get a whistle there. A lot of banging going on. And... Now we'll get a Tomahawk Owen's who's down on a knee. cheering his teammates on even though he's skating to the penalty box. Kind of a weird thing right there, but Kyle Dunn, he'll join Aiden Kelly in the penalty box. A lot of penalties, a lot of penalties this game. I think both coaches will look back at this game and say, guys, we got to control ourselves a little bit better. Uh, some, go some penalties you can afford to take. That one right there on shore and four on four. Still some uh, some players switching out here, left and right. Uh, out on the ice comes number 10. That is Matthew Blair. Oh, and even the referees off. decide to hold off and not drop the puck. Tries to clear, take it out front and nice moves, make some moves. Guys go high, goes around. Oh, what a great job there by the goalie, Ben Hardy. He really cut down any sort of angle that was possible. Absolutely, yeah, that was excellent goaltending. Hogue had a real chance there and continued to shoot the Continue puck. to shoot the puck, but Ben Hardy was just like, no, you got nothing. And uh, we get a face off here. Hardy doing his best impersonation of a stone wall. Uh, that's a great way to get yourself noticed here in New Hampshire hockey is plays like that. And, we're glad to see this. We love our stone walls in New Hampshire. We love our stone walls. If you've ever been in the, you know, on some back roads, oh, they're everywhere. Again. Ooh, great defense. Number 12 getting the stick and breaking up that rush. And now coming the other way. Hit over to um, Tom Oclair. Backhands it high up above. It goes. 12, Sadowski was open. And now, let's see what the little green Knights can do. He loses the puck, waits for the... A teammate throws it, deflected, uh, and now come the other way, a possible two on one. See if he passes it across or takes it himself. He takes it himself, and good job there 
Matthew by Blair Hood. Turned it over, but he got back in time to neutralize the two on one opportunity. Look at the skating here by this Tomahawk player. Left, right, left, right. That's Dominic Carroza. He's got an assist already, a goal. He's done pretty well here with just 20 seconds remaining on the four on four. We got a whistle here. Is that going to be an elbowing? Is that what I'm seeing? Uh, uh, no, no. Looks like there's a guy going to the penalty box Three. for the Tomahawks. Dunn. So we got Dunn and Kyle. Uh, I've, I've lost Kyle's name. Kyle. So both Dunn brothers in the penalty box. Kyle Dunn and uh, Connor, Connor Dunn. Dunn. Yep. Face off one by the Little Green Knights. Shot wide. There's no one to go get the puck. They got to really figure something out. Oh, there's is, offsides now. What is Lewis doing? I think he's trying to strip the puck from his own teammate, number six. I'm not sure. It's still going to be an offsides call. There's four seconds remaining on this four on three. What was that? An ugly turn of events there for the... Central West team here. A lot of selfish hockey for Central West tonight. It's not working to their benefit. And out of the box comes Mr. Aiden Kelly. Uh, like some moves, shot, saved there by Ben Hardy. Oh, Owen Kelly trying to make something happen again. Well, we have a five on three opportunity here for sure for 13 seconds. Let's see if Central West, they lose the face off. Actually, they win it, shot there. And three seconds later, another saved by Hardy and another face off. He's been excellent. Just 152 remaining in the game. Face off, tied up here. Actually taken back by the Tomahawk player, Tomahawks. Lose it over to Little Green Knights. Now we got a five on four. Five on four now. Face off or shot. Seen and taken by a Tomahawk player, but now tries to get around his player and out of the zone it goes. Aiden trying to make something happen. A shot. Oh, there you go. Wow! A slapper right there. And. Nine to five. Stick handle just after the blue line to fake out the defender and create some space, get a nice uh, shooting lane and buried that from the blue line. And it looked like this Dano Chara slap shot. Ben Hardy should have been able to handle that, but he was not. He's done a lot of great saves and that's why his team is still up four goals. But either way, with uh, stolen there, taken back. 27, Giles grabbed that out of midair. Shot right in front and finally wrapped up, gloved up by David Hood. Well, Little Green's making a push for sure. They got five goals, but too little too late it seems. That's more than they had the whole entire season as they came in being outscored 15 to four. They can at least get up to nine now, but at the same time, they have given up nine goals this game. They are now being outscored 24 to nine. Backhand shot behind the net. Tries again for that same exact goal that we saw a few minutes ago. Tomahawks keeping it in the zone. Shot. Blocker save. Blocker save. Thankfully pushed to the corner. Still some more collisions there. Out of the zone it goes. Here comes Matt LaForge. He's got one. Uh, LaForge loses the, puck. loses the puck. Oh, here we go though. Oh, save there by Hardy. We are at 40 seconds remaining in this game, and Tomahawks are going to come the other way. A good push in the last minute. Oh, we're going to call an offsides. He was across the line before the puck was, and with 33 seconds remaining, we'll get a one more faceoff. Maybe even two. Mm. Hopefully Central West can get an, one more goal. Make this really a 9-6 uh, game. Number 11 there, Matt Lassard will take the face off. He wins it, sends it back. Center ice, tries to throw it into the zone. It hits off his own teammate. Sam Giles had nowhere to go at that point. That puck yeah. was coming way too fast and he was not able to get 
out of the zone Sometimes in time. Sometimes less is more when you're passing. I mean, you want to get a good solid pass off, but too hard, it's going to bounce over a stick or, you know, maybe even get caught up in the skates. Into the zone it goes as number five, Caleb Page tries to make something else happen. Page has to get out of the zone before he can go get the puck. And the final 10 seconds will ring off the clock. The Central West Little Green Knights came into this game not doing so well, but here's one more opportunity. Shot and a save. Hood what a way to end the game there by Hood. And just like that, the Merrimack Tomahawks get the victory. A 9-5 lead, a great job by both teams. Cam, we were looking for a good hockey game, and I, I feel like we, get, we got a pretty good one here tonight. Yeah, it was exciting despite the score. Um, although pretty sloppy between all the different penalties, we got 16 penalty minutes for a little green, and I haven't counted up the other ones for the Tomahawks, but they took a significant amount there in the second and third period. They're, uh, they're not supposed to be uh, touching gloves or anything like that. Uh, referees say Matt LaForge needs to get away. Uh, I think they're they're very oh they're they're touching sticks, so that's a nice way to do it for sure. Uh, Cam, we'll be back tomorrow facing watching Central at home as they'll be facing with Bishop Brady. Mm. Bishop Brady has a great goalie in Owen Courier, so this will be an interesting game to see tomorrow from JFK Coliseum, a 4-10 start. Any last words from uh, Manchester West Side Arena for you today, Cam. Well, I will say the Little Green seems to have found their offense, but, I mean, they probably could have had at least two or three more goals, you know, playing a little bit less ISO puck and relying on the breakaways um, and just, you know, cycling the puck in the offensive zone. Um, you were mentioning Courier, excellent goaltender, so Owen they're going to need to come out firing in the next game. They got five goals today. Let's hope that they can get five or more tomorrow, depending on how their defense plays. But for Executive Director Jason Cody, Operations Specialist Joe Lahr, and Operations Assistant Brendan McCormick, my name is Kyle Heavey. That's Cam Transmontane. It's been a pleasure to be here live for Manchester Public Television from the Westside Ice Arena. And we'll say goodnight for now. Final score, Merrimack Tomahawks 9 and the Central West Little Green Knights 5. Take care, everyone.